So we know what is a habit and how a habit is formed. But do you know what makes an action, um, a repeated action also a habit? You see, habit begins with a cue, a trigger to action. So when you walk into a dark room, you get a cue that you are missing the light because you're not able to see anything in the dark room, right? And that is your cue. And that is why you reach out for the switches to take an action, which means that habits are triggered by a cue. Next comes a craving to change the state. So basically, when you enter the dark room, you obviously want light. So you have a craving or you have a requirement to change the you know, present state. And that actually makes you take an action. So obviously, the next step is to take an action. So you then go on to switch on the lights. And the final, you know, the, the step in this process of habit is a reward. You know, when you do something, you do because you get something at the end of the process, right? And in this case, when you're walking into the dark room, it's a mild relief. It's a comfort of being able to see your surroundings that results, you know, from turning on the switch. And that is why this is a habit that we have that we automatically switch on the lights when we enter a dark room. Every habit has the same process. Cues, craving, followed by an action and the end result is the reward.